I thought we'd do one from the archive today. A Chaos Hell Cannon miniature, which I assembled about a decade ago for Warhammer Fantasy Battle 7th edition for my Warriors of Chaos Army. I think it only played one game, and it sat assembled in the garage for about a decade until I think sometime last year, possibly over one of the lockdowns, when I painted it up and based it for use in the various miniatures agnostic games, one of them being Dragon Rampant, where I've been using this very happily as uh, heavy heavy shooters, uh, the kind of conceptual equivalent of 12 crossbowmen. But actually, as you'll see uh, when I look at the rules in Age of Sigmar, similar to Warhammer uh, Fantasy Battle 7th edition, actually it's basically a massive monster that shoots but just keeps drawing itself through blurred thirst all the way to get to the enemy. And if they're dumb enough to let it get there, it just causes mayhem. Anyway. Do like this video if you enjoy seeing a hell cannon in metal in the flesh. In the metal. Comment if you have any thoughts. It doesn't even have to be supportive or kind. I'm open to learning. And I always reply. And subscribe if you want to see what else is in the garage. I think I'm about... My mission is to put everything that I've done on YouTube. I think it'll take about a year, and I think we're about maybe 10% through. Now, the first thing that just hits you like a rock is the fact that this thing weighs about as much as a large rock. I mean, I can just, I can feel the weight in my hands. None of this new age resin or plastic. You know, if you dropped on the floor, it would go kapow. If you dropped on your foot, you know, it's A&E time. And I remember um, assembling it was not that straightforward either because it's just, you know, it was a massive number of pieces of big chunks of metal and these two sides of the barrel were two different pieces. And I remember walking into the Games Workshop store, I'd assembled it and undercoated it uh, chaos black and a bloke just shouted across the store, he goes, Oi, did you make that yourself? I was like, uh, yes. He goes, did you use a hammer? And I was like, how did you know? Yes, I had to use a hammer because the two metal... Uh, pieces of the barrel didn't quite stick together perfectly. You ended up having to basically, well, I wasn't in a total muppet. I put something over the, the, the barrel and the half of the barrel and, and then hammered that gently to kind of ease the metal into shape. All those people who hanker back for metal because they just don't like the plastic kits. You know, if it was single piece uh, metal, all well and good. But if it was metal assembly, I don't remember it with any passion at all. I mean, you know, I'm not a bad modeler, but you know, just the weight, you can see the weight of this thing, you know, is just pushing down and there's no axle there. These pieces, these wheels just stick on. So short of having drilled a huge um, axle in myself, you know, there was no way of getting these wheels to take the weight of that heavy um, chaos demon set of barrels. But, you know, the thing about fantasy is you could well say that that's a design fault in the real world. And, you know, as as the little dwarves push this around, um, or rather it pulls itself around, possessed by a demon as it is, that's just the reality of its dynamics and mechanics. On Stuff of Legends, you can see I was exaggerating about the number of parts, but you can see that there were these two quite big, chunky uh barrels left and right and that's what i had to apply the hammer and lots of green stuff to about 10 years ago and i think i put a towel on top of it so i didn't knock them out of shape too much or damage the beautiful sort of skeleton intricate uh detailing on both barrels as ever as you can see whenever i'm giving up given the opportunity of just throwing down loads of um shire like basing materials I do, because that's what the canvas is there for, as far as I'm concerned, as a matter of art. And, you know, there's no reason you couldn't imagine that some horrible chaos horde has come to demolish some happy shire, like the first scene in, what's it called? The Wheel of Time. Well, these are the wheels of chaos. So I think what's supposed to happen in terms of the mechanics is, you know, this is a possessed demon engine, uh, and in the rules, not only does it 
I remember in 7th edition, not only was it, it wasn't primarily a cannon, it could shoot, but it was just, you know, dragging itself forward, dragging itself forward, smelling blood. And, um, and if the enemy was foolish enough to let this thing contact their, their unit, well, it would just demolish them. And there still are rules for uh, Warriors of Chaos for Age of Sigma, which is obviously the latest iteration of uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle in a very different kind of form. But the, the rules, to my mind, look pretty similar for the Hell Cannon. So there's Cage Fury. Basically, your little uh, dwarf crew have to try and hold back the Hellfire Fury. And if they can't, then it flies towards the enemy. And... Uh, the crew didn't cause much damage, but Crikey, the uh, demonic maw, does do a reasonable job, though rend, like armor-piercing, minus one, as I understand it, not that fantastic these days. And we can see another unsteady wheel, but, you know, who cares? So the I think, you, I think a skull gets fed into here, and the demonic forces take the skull, and they pull them up through the body... And they punt the skull out through there, and it's like a flaming skull type cannon. So as I mentioned, this thing was uh, assembled about a decade ago, more than a decade ago, and undercoated black. But I took one of the uh, army painter silver, like chainmail type colours, and sprayed it because I thought, look, I don't want to spend ages with it. And then I did a, a black um, wash over it, and I thought, look, I just want to keep this simple. So even then, it already started looking good. And then I just gently dry brushed um, bits of silver, a silvery colour into a, a, a darker silver, a, a, like a chainmail colour. And I only did a, a couple of uh, highlights, not highlights was the word, um, just a bit of dry brushing with that. I didn't even bother with kind of edge highlighting and that kind of thing. Um, and then I took some of that sprue kind of packaging material in old metal kits. And I just thought, look, let's give it a, a bit of a variegated pattern. And so um, I dabbed the top level silver, mithril silver, um, as well as actually dabbing, I mixed a bit of black into one of the silvers because I thought, you know, look, this isn't going to be pure stainless steel. This is going to be some kind of variegated ancient metal. And then I just went over with brown washers and just dropped it into these different recesses. And I, um, I also had, I don't think it was army paint, it might be Vallejo rust. And I just kind of put a bit of rust into the recesses where I thought it would be. And I had some weathering powder, which I bought for tanks. And I just kind of scooped and ladled it in to the corners here. Now, annoyingly, when I, I assembled it, I don't know if I, I quickly lost the other one of these. That's supposed to go over there. And looking at it, I think it would make quite a difference, even if it were just painted gold. But I've only got one of them, so woohoo. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You can still see the uh, the hands of the spirits here, possessed by their satanic forces, pulling their way out. But uh, it was pretty straightforward to paint. It was an, an easy win. You can hear it dragging itself as I just move it around. And you know, the early combustion engine of the chaotic ancient world in terms of the crew, again, these are pretty simple. They were undercoated. Um, oh no, I think I just painted them uh, with the relevant chainmail bits, applying the same kind of metal, metal kind of weathering approach as to this cha chaotic demon engine. Uh, they've got their uh, Babylonian beards, but these obviously aren't the big hat uh, chaos dwarves. They were designed specially for this, must be around, you know, I don't know, between 2005, 2010. And they've got their little uh, Bob the Builder kit there, just to scoop in all of the skulls and things that are required to be punted out through the front of the demon engine. And in terms of scale, that's a normal sized space marine. So this thing is pretty chunky and a kind of normal human greatsword all games workshop stuff and there you go kapow well thank you for watching to the end 
I hope you have a great day or evening, depending on where you are. And uh, I hope to see you again around here soon.